Hi, fourth grade. Today we are going to make the cover page for our president report. So I'm going to walk you through the part three directions. I'm starting with step one, where I am opening the report from my H drive. Okay, for step two, I'm going to use Control A on the keyboard. So Control is in the bottom left corner. I'm going to hold that in, press letter A, and that has selected all my text. You need to make the font either Arial, Calibri, or Times New Roman. Arial is one of my favorites, so I'll go with that. And the size needs to either be 12, 14, or 16. Most of you are going to find 14 is good for you. All right, for step number three, I'm going to click at the beginning of my document, and I'm going to go to the Insert tab, and I'm going to choose Page Break. So um, right here and that puts in a new page on top of my old one. I'm going to scroll up so I'm at the top of my page. I click up here so I'm on this first page and I'm going to zoom out so I can see the whole page so I know what kind of space I have to work with. It's okay if your pages are side by side like mine or if one's on top of the other, it doesn't matter. Okay, the first thing I need to do is insert the word art. So this is step four and I click insert and then I click Word Art. You might have a large A there for yours. It doesn't matter which style you pick because we're going to make it pretty anyway. You need to type the word President. Start it with a capital, please. And you need to type your President's last name. So President Washington, President Lincoln, President Obama, President Van Buren. Um, so I'm going to do mine. And now I'm going to go ahead and make that pretty. It says you can modify it with the color, outline, shape, font style, font size, etc. So there's two places to make it pretty. First area is in the home section. That's where I can change the font style and size. So I could go through and pick something fun there, something that stands out or cursive or whatever you wanted. Um, I can also change the size in there if I wanted to. Um, I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. And then the other place to change it is in the Drawing Tools section. Make sure you are in the Text section, not in the Shape section. So for my text, I can change the color, and I can give it an outline if I want. Um, and then this last one has the really cool effect, so I can give it a shadow, or make it reflect like it's in water. I can make it glow, so any number of things you can play with there. I probably wouldn't play with bevel, uh, but it's better on photographs than on word art. Um, and I might want to give it a shape. Um, and then if I need to resize it after I give it a shape, I have to use a corner. The um, size in the Home tab doesn't work anymore. Okay, so I'm going to move that into my center. You can see the green lines that showed up there show me it's centered. So that completes steps four and five. Uh, before I move on, I'm just going to hit my purple floppy disk here to save it. And now I'm going to do step six. It says open the president research file from your H drive. So I'm going to shrink down my report with the minimize button. And I've still got my H drive here, so now I can open up my research and that'll let me get my picture. So I'm going to right click on my picture and copy it. Down here in my taskbar I can pull my report back up and make sure I'm not on the word art. So I'm going to click down here and then I'm going to hit my clipboard to paste it. I'm not worried about it being on the second page. Um, I'm going to go on to step seven and that will let me move the picture. So I'm going to click on my picture here, go to my picture tools, my format tab, and go to wrap text in front of text. And now I'm going to be able to move it around a lot. Okay, so I'm going to move it down a little. Might be a good time to resave my work again, so I'm going to do that. And now I'm going to change the picture size. So I'm going to right click on it. Um, some of you will have a size and position option if you do click that. If you don't have size and position, you're going to need to do two steps. You're going to have to go to Format Picture, and then when the box comes up, you should have a size option. Um, since I had the size and position option, mine came up differently. So I do want to use the size and position, 
So this is the box that would come up if this wasn't an option and there would be different choices and you would want the size tab. I'm going to make sure this lock aspect ratio is on, so I'm going to put a little check mark there. And that's going to make sure when I change the size in my absolute height and backspace it and make it a 3, it'll make sure that everything else changes appropriately. So I click OK. And then I'm just going to move this to the center. So, um, centered there, where's my top and bottom? Oh, almost, there we go. All right, so it's right in the center. Okay, um, moving on to step 10, I'm going to insert a text box. So let me get off my picture. I'm going to go to insert, text box, draw text box, and then I'm going to click and drag to make my box here. To set it up in step 11, I'm going to go to the home tab. I need to change my font style to whatever I picked for my report. In my case, I had picked Arial for the report. Remember the other two choices were Calibri or Times New Roman. So pick whatever you picked for your report. And the size for this is going to be 20. And you're going to center align it. So right here is my center. Okay, now I'm going to type President Research report, I hit enter, type by, I hit enter, it auto corrects that, so I'm going to hit undo to bring that back to a lowercase, and then you're going to type your first and last name. Okay, step 13, I'm going to remove the line from my text box, so I'm going to put my mouse right on this line and right click, and then I can go to my outline and change it to no outline, and that will remove the line for me. And I'm going to center my text box under my picture here. Okay, and that is it. So all I have to do is resave my work. Um, you do want to make sure that your report is complete and you've put in all the research. Um, if you have not, you can go back to finishing your report. Just zoom it back in and type. If you are finished, then you would print. So you would do that by pressing File, Print. Um, you always want to check your printer. I'm at my home computer right now, so I have a few different choices. But if you are a Trinity West student, you would want to pick whichever one says West Lab. If you're a Trinity South student, pick the one that says South Lab. So since I am at my home, I want this one. And now that it's connected to the correct printer, I hit print, and I am good to go. So there you have it. Uh, thank you for completing your reports.